thefts are at their highest level in the U.S. since 2008, and Illinois tops the list. Now one man from the south suburbs says he knows what's pushing the numbers higher. He caught thieves on surveillance camera pushing his car from his house. Yeah, y'all know it's your boy King Lucky Money Man. I'm back with another video, man. Real reaction video. Listen, today... Somebody got their car stole out their driveway. And if you ain't never had your car stole before, if you know somebody who had their car stole before, I don't care what kind of car it is, man. That is not a good feeling to go through. That is not a good feeling to experience, especially when somebody shows up at your house or shows up at your door or you at the club or you just hanging out or whatever. You come back out and you see that glass on the ground. And you looking around and you walking around, you walking and you, and you just, if you ever, if you ever experienced it before, get what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do is what, y'all? you going to check to see, uh, I must have parked somewhere else. You know what? No, nah, I couldn't have parked over here because I know I parked my car right here. And what I think with, with today's, the way they're making these cars is way easier to steal. Somebody actually, in this video we're about to watch right now, somebody duplicated a key for this guy's car and they stole it out his own yard let's get into the clip man i'm gonna come back with more commentary during the video let's go car thefts are at their highest level in the u.s since 2008 and illinois tops the list now one man from the south suburbs says he knows what's pushing the numbers higher he caught thieves on surveillance camera pushing his car from his house. Wow. So CBS 2 Sarah Maki, he's sick of this trend, and she found one car security expert looking for some solutions. Sadly enough to say, I kind of already expected this to happen. I just didn't think my day was going to come that day, but it did. That's just what happened. That's Jawan Bishop's reaction after watching these videos of thieves steal his Dodge Charger this week. After they break a rear window, they're able to essentially put this Dodge in control. You can see one person running behind the car to push it into the street. And then he says they used the car to push his down the road, where they tried to program it with a new key. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. He says he's heard of this trend, but never expected to catch it on video. But the key is to slow them down while your other security measures are in place. Steve Labello says he's seen this method before. Dodges, among the most often targeted. We a lot of calls and people are like, what do you mean they can push my car away? It's, it's that fast. He showed us how easy it is to program a new key. Show it, show it, show it. Did it in about 90 seconds. When you're done, success. Step on the brake. Yeah, whatever that, whatever. He tells clients to use multiple security yeah. methods, yeah, searching for new devices that aren't common on the market yet. And he says after hundreds of installs. We haven't had one person get past the pin code yet. And he has the videos to Damn. Customers sent him these videos. Thieves trying to steal a car unsuccessfully. That's the walk of shame. Bishop got his car back a few blocks from his home. Still got to buy another window. And other security measures. At the end of the day, I'm just really grateful that I managed to get my car back. Because unfortunately, or not a lot of other people are fortunate to get their car back. But he says this experience is enough to drive him to try something new. Looking for something. I mean, less it's worthless at that point. Thieves. In River Grove, Saramaki, CBS 2 News. Now, this is what I'm going to say in this. Because we're not going to act like insurance scam don't exist. Because when I was looking at this, I, when I was first looking at the home footage of it, I was thinking, I'm looking I'm looking at the layout. Look at all the houses right across the street. It's well lit up. His car is parked right out in front of the house. That's a pretty bold move. So... I was looking at that. I was like, he probably did a, a scam. Uh, maybe he wanted something else done to his car. Maybe he wanted it painted. Maybe he wanted it. Who knows? Who knows? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the streets, man. So, you know, I, I, I think of everything. If y'all watch other videos, I look at things from a, all the way around the board. You know what I mean? But... I don't want to go through all that, man. Advice to you, you know what I'm saying? Pushing the culture forward as I keep going, baby. You.